God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healing. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Pastor, this is Anula. She has two testimonies. She says for one week she had a swelling in the left eye and pain. She came with that today. Jesus healed her. Completely gone, Shan. Yeah, also since last night she had a severe pain in her teeth. She walked into the church with that, but now it's all Completely gone. gone Completely gone, Shan. Completely gone that pain. And the eye pain is gone. Swelling is gone. Who healed this dear daughter? Who healed this dear child? Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is night. For one week, she's been suffering with pain and swelling under her feet and her ankle. She came with that swelling and pain, now completely gone. Completely gone, child. All the swelling is gone, child. You can stamp your feet. All the pain and the swelling, completely gone. Who healed this, dear girl? Who healed this, dear daughter? Lift your hand to Jesus. Burning in your forehead. Burning sensation in your forehead. In your forehead. Jesus heals you. Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus, risen. Be healed. Pastor, this is Anil. He came with dizziness caused by a burning sensation. Immediately by the word of knowledge when you said there was someone with a burning sensation being healed. On the forehead. On the forehead. Immediately he received his healing. That was you. It's gone, son. Completely gone. Look at this loving son testifying. He is testifying. When the Lord Jesus told me burning pain in the forehead, it's gone. You ask him, who healed this loving son? Yeah. Oh, it's all Jesus. Shout aloud and say, Jesus. This is Felicia. For five days, she's been having pain from her shoulders running down to her arms. Instantly, the pain is gone. Completely. Blessed healed. mother. The pain went off, mother. Completely went off. You came with the pain. It's gone. You can just move your hand up. Sure, look at the joy in this mother. All the pain has gone. Blessed mother. Blessed mother. Blessed mother in Jesus' name. Blessed mother. And your household is blessed mother. He loves you. Charles, receive your peace now. Pastor, for one week, Charles has had a stomach pain. Instantly, this morning, the Lord touched him and healed him completely. Gone, sir. You had a stomach pain and your name was called Charles. I didn't know his name was Charles. Jesus loved him and knew him. And, and the pain has gone, sir. Completely gone. Oh, who healed this loving son? Jesus called his name uh, and healed him completely. All the pain is gone. Lift your hand to Jesus. Last week, she's been suffering with a urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. And she had constantly, she had to pass urine. But she was here on Sunday, and the Lord healed her completely. Ever since, she says, she all that is gone. Child, completely. Lift your hand to Jesus. Who healed this dear daughter? Lift your hand to Jesus. He's healing you, Pearl. Receive your miracle. Pastor, this is Pearl. The Holy Spirit called her mm. name today and has given her peace and joy. Peace. Who called her name? I didn't know her name. Jesus knew her name. And peace, child. Peace. Who gave that peace to this dear girl? Called her name Pearl. It's all Jesus. He loves you, child. And this peace will be forever. Diana, receive it all, my child. Pastor, this is Diana. The mm. Holy Spirit called her name today and given her peace. Peace and joy. God called her name, gave her the peace and joy. Lift your hand to Jesus. He loves you, child. Go and live. Pastor, this daughter came with a severe neck pain which she was suffering for one week. Mm. Jesus healed her today. Completely gone, child. Completely gone. You came with that daughter. It's gone now. You can move this way, that way, this way. All it's gone. Even your hand, completely gone. Who healed this blessed daughter? A blessed girl of this church. A blessed mother of this church. Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Eva. For one week, she's been suffering with a chest congestion and breathing difficulty. Now she says she can completely. breathe freely, completely healed. What, what, one minute, you had a chest congestion? Breathe. Can you lift your hands and breathe now? And take a deep breath, child, and now... 
Take a deep breath now. You feel fine, child. You feel fine. Look at the joy. And what's your name, she said? Ever. What a name that is everlasting. <laughs> Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Sunil. He testifies that on his left ear. Come in front, son. Huh? His left ear was oozing some liquid out. For the last huh? five years, he has been having that problem. Today, when he had John 14.1, let not your heart be troubled. Immediately, the, 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 the oozing Completely dried, dried up, son. And Completely totally dried. Ill. Completely dry. Look at the joy. Look at the joy. What John 14, 1 goes, my beloved. Every one of you, he loves you, he loves you. How great thou art. He is the only great one. He is the only great one. How great thou art. He is the only great one. He loves you. Then sings my soul. He loves you. He loves you. My Savior God to thee. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. How great thou art. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Great. Thou there was a mother who came running to Jesus. Matthew's Gospel, 15th chapter. So desperate. And said, my daughter is vexed with a defeat. Of course, it's defeated forever, the demons. And the Bible says, Jesus answered her not a word. Jesus answered her not a word. Why is Jesus without compassion? Jesus knew who needs prayer. He knew who needs deliverance. If the child has been totally possessed with the defeated devil. The mother desperate with love. So much of love comes to Jesus. Son of David, my child is like this. And the Bible says he didn't answer a word. And she, was, she never gave up. She never gave up. She just went after him. And the disciples said, Sir, send her away, send her away. She's crying. She's shouting after her. Jesus said, I have come to the lost sheep of Israel. My loving child. And the mother came and said, Lord, help me. Jesus knew who needed deliverance first, the mother or the child. Don't change the church, please. We think our children need deliverance. We need deliverance more than them. My loving, here yeah, he knew it. Yeah, what, see what's happening. He didn't immediately say, yes, go, your child is well. He would knew where the knot has to be loosened. It's we, fathers, it's we, fathers, it's we, fathers, must be a true example of Jesus in our houses. Our language, our conduct, our character, our Bible reading, my loving child, our praising Jesus, our encouraging, our comforting. When I say fathers, because we, we men always put the blame on women. My loving children. And the dear mothers, fresh, they take the burden. They take the burden. It's, it's today deliverance for fathers and mothers in Jesus' name. For us, my loving child, we get angry. We get impatient. We don't read the Bible. We don't praise it. And we load it on our children. My loving child, my beloved ones, Jesus didn't say a word. He knew who needed deliverance. He knew, my loving child. He kept silent. She came and said, Lord, help me. First she said, my child. Now she knew the, the, the silence of Jesus, the response of Jesus, the very presence of Jesus made her realize it's me, God. She says, second, her second request is myself. She understood, Lord, help me. I don't read the Bible. Help me. I don't praise you much. Help me. I am not regular to church. Help me. I am not good in anything. Father, mother, all of us. 
Then Jesus said, it's not right for me to take the bread of the children and give it to little dogs. My loving child, my blessed ones, my precious children, he is here today. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Fathers, mothers, of course, even young children. This is not, it is for every one of us. He loves you. The, the importance of being his child and the importance of coming from mercy to grace. He was crossing her from mercy to grace. My loving child, she was a Gentile. She was a heathen. God could have easily said, go, your child is healed, whether she deserved it or not. My loving child, she was not in the covenant of God. She was not in the promise of God, so the mercy would have healed the child. But God wanted to save the mother. He wanted to save the household. He wanted to save the entire generation. Living in mercy is good. But let us get into grace today. That is why she said, help me, Lord, help me. And the Lord told her, my child, don't, you can't be just a little slave and a servant all the time, depending on people, depending on someone's money, depending on someone's help, help, depending on this, depending on that. You must know that you are an heir and a co-heir along with God himself. Become his child. Take your position and your privilege and your rights and your inheritance as his child. Know who he is in your life. Don't be just asking and asking and asking and asking. My loving, that is what the Holy Spirit started with. Tell him who he is. You want money? Tell him that you are my provider. You are lonely? Tell him that you are Jehovah Shammah. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Shammah. You are sick? Tell him you are Jehovah Rapha. Tell you want deliverance? Tell him you are Jehovah Palat. Tell him today, my loving child. Tell him today, you want peace. Tell him you are Jehovah Shalom. Tell him, my, my beloved ones. You want purity in life. You want pure, to be away from sin. Tell him you are Jehovah Sid Kenu. Tell him my loving child. His purity will come. His provision will come. He is here today. You want victory and triumph in your life. You want victory and triumph in your life. In every area. Tell him you are Jehovah Nisi in my life. There then the victory comes. My loving child. You must know who you are. You must know what he has purchased you for. He has redeemed you. He has redeemed you. He has redeemed you. He has redeemed you. My loving child. He has has redeemed you. He is your redeemer. He is your healer. He is your savior. He loves you. You just have to know who he is. That's why the Lord said, don't just behave like a slave. Don't behave like a servant. Don't just be asking and asking and asking and asking. And oh no, I have had a place for you here. I have a place for you. You are an heir along with me, not just with Abraham. You are an heir along with Christ Jesus, you and I, by the blood of his son, by the blood of his son, by the blood of his son. You can sit along with Jesus. Ephesians 2, 6. He, and he has raised you. He is the lifter of my head. He is the lifter of my soul. He is the lifter of my spirit. He is the lifter of my life. He is the lifter of my home. He is the lifter of my family. He is the lifter of my ministry. He is the lifter of all that I need and I am. Because he is the lifter of my life. Psalm 3, 3. Psalm 3, 3. Psalm 3, 3. Three. He is here today. He will lift you. You don't have to be a slave. Asking, 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 asking. You don't have to be a servant. Asking, 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 asking. You have an inheritance on this earth. You have an inheritance in heaven, you and I. We have an inheritance on this earth. First Peter 1 4. First Peter 1 4. You and I have an inheritance on this earth. It has been purchased for us. Today, if you can overcome if you can overcome anything that objects you and obstructs you and hurdles your life, my beloved, your unbelief, your unbelief, or whatever, my loving children, you will inherit. Revelations 21, 7. He who overcomes will inherit everything. Oh, the God has purchased for you. And this woman, when she heard that, she said, Sir, the dogs at the 
at the table will take the crumbs. Dill Ministries International with signs, wonders, and miracles. It's bigger and faster to be connected 24-7 with the new apps, finding out the latest updates, such as Daily Life Word, Audio Gallery, Broadcast Episodes, Ministry Schedules, Praise Reports, Prayer Requests, Contact Us, and much, much more. Just simply type DMI. And remember always, God loves you forever. She believed the crumbs, the crumbs that fall from the table is more than enough for her. My loving child, my beloved ones, Jesus said, go thy way, your faith Great is your faith. Great is your faith. Great is your faith. Great, that's what she was asking. That is what she was asking. She came asking for her daughter. Then her request changed. It is for me. It is for me. Lord, help me, she said. And what, does she, what was she asking? What, that is why Jesus said, great is your faith. Great is your faith. She was asking, God, give me faith. Give me faith now. This is what I lack. This is what I lack. First she came asking for her daughter. Asking maybe you are here for your son, for your daughter, for your finance, for your house, for your family, for your health. But the reason is, it is you, it is you, it is me, it is me that needs the deliverance. We are not, we are not loving, kind, patient, holy. Oh, my beloved, our heart is set on money, money, money. Oh, my loving child, our heart is set on our own self. No, 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 my loving child, my beloved ones, we need the deliverance. We need the deliverance. We need the deliverance. My, it's not someone else. It's we who needs the deliverance. Psalm 144, verse number two, to become pure, to become loving, to become kind, to become humble, to become holy, to become honest. It's not the financial situation outside. It is not the market crisis situation outside. It is not the cash flow squeeze and the blocks um, outside. No, you can give all those reasons and satisfy yourself. I don't live in a real world. I live in the kingdom of God on this world, my beloved. We don't belong to this world. We don't belong to this world. John 17, 14. We don't belong to this world. We belong to heaven. Philippians 3, 20. Therefore, my loving child, you and I, that woman that mother said it's me God help me help me help me what is help easy to understand heavens ever 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 increasing love and power H-E-L-P heavens I would say heavens explicit love and power for your sake and my sake H-E-L-P all of heavens extensive enhanced everlasting love and power on your life and my life that is H-E-L-P. Lord, help me. Help me by your power. Help me by your love. All I need is faith. All I need is faith. All I have faith in money. I have faith in people. I have faith in myself. I have faith in others. But I don't have faith in you, God. I, because I don't know who you are. I don't realize you are my provider. I don't realize you are my healer. I don't realize you are my protection. I don't realize you are my victory. I I don't realize you are my peace. Oh my God. I don't realize you are my joy. If I beloved, it's not that he heals you. He is your healing. It's not that he gives you peace. He is your peace. It's not that he gives you victory. He is your victor. My love, you must know who he is, my loving child. That's why don't be like a servant or a slave, like a little dog. That's what God was referring. My child, you, have, you are an heir and a co-heir along with me. You can sit with me and eat the children's bread of life. Oh, beloved ones, and that is the faith. That is the faith. That is the faith. That is the faith that she received. This is what she was asking. This is what 
she was asking God, I must have faith. I must have faith. I must have faith. Help me. Help me. Help me to receive this faith. And she got it. You know why she got it? Because she said, sir, even from the ground, I can receive my healing. Even because the crumbs are enough, God. The crumbs are enough. The, that she, she, my beloved, she received, she received, she received that faith. The crumbs are enough. The crumbs are enough. The crumbs are enough. The crumbs are enough for me and my household. The crumb, this is the faith I need. The crumbs is the word of God. What is in the table is what was falling on the ground. It's the word of God. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word. That is why I beg of you, my loving children, get into the word, read the word, believe the word, and behave the word and live the word in your life my loving child please I beg of you 20 chapters minimum 20 chapters minimum faith will fill you purity will fill you peace will fill you joy will fill you hope will fill you life will fill you power will fill you heaven will fill you on this earth beloved what more do you need money huh? house building money land huh? promotion Oh, let us not be cheap Christians. You must be Christians with Christ Jesus. You and I. He loves you. It's not silver and gold. It's not wealth and this and that. No, my loving son, my loving daughter. What is your faith? Who is your God? What is he to you today? What is he to you? He's my provider. I may not have any job. He's my provider. I praise you. I may not have health. He's my healer. I praise you. I may not have peace. He's my peace. I praise you. I may not have joy. He's my joy. I praise you. I may not have victory. He's my victor. I praise you. My loving child, are you doing that today? This is what happened to that lady. She received. That's why Jesus said, great is your faith. Great is your faith because that's what you asked. That you realized that's what you need. It's not your child's deliverance. It's not your child's education. It's not your child's prosperity. It's you or me that needs the deliverance today. And that is faith. Lord, I need that faith in my life. Your home is blessed today. Your life is blessed today. Your family is blessed today. Your generation is blessed today. Take it in Jesus' name, my loving children. Great is your faith, God. How great is your faith? He said, go, your daughter is. Whatever you wanted for your daughter or your son, it's done unto you. It's done unto you. She went home and the Bible says that same moment, the dirty, defeated demons or devil that was holding the child, whatever, just left, that's all. It's by the faith that you declare who he is. It's by the faith that you declare who he is. It's not, this is not a praying church. This is a praising, praying church, beloved. Praising, praying, praising, praying. And what is prayer? Is to ask for faith and for godliness in your life and my life. That is your prayer. And you praise him for everything. Praise him for everything. This is what is going to give you the victory forever. I'm going to pray with you right now. Loving Father, I humble myself before your people and you, my God, my Father. To you we come in the name of Jesus Christ, thy only begotten Son, whom you raised from the dead, and today made him sit at your right hand side, Father. And in Jesus' name, all power in heaven and earth and over the defeated hell is given. Loving Father, I don't come on my own merit. I have no merit, God, only the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ, I come to you. 
I humbly ask you, let all the sicknesses go away. Let all the physical ailments go away. Even the defeated symptoms and the causes of the diseases go away. Jesus, let the blind see now, God. Jesus, let the deaf hear now, God. Jesus, let the dumb speak now, God. Jesus, let the lame rise now and walk, God. Even let the dead rise now, God. Jesus, with you all things are possible. Wipe the tears of anyone, God. I thank you. I have told them that you will wipe their tears today. Loving Lord, loving Lord. Hebrews 5 verse 7, Luke 7 verse 13, wipe the tears of everyone, God. Isaiah 25 verse 8, wipe the tears of everyone, my Father. Heal all their diseases, Lord Jesus. Remove every burden of their life, Lord. Let them all rise up, walk, live, rejoice and praise you and thank you and always give you the glory. I thank you for this, Father. I thank you for this, Lord Jesus. I thank you for this Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Father. Amen, 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 amen. Jesus loves you. And my books are there. Jesus Christ heals even now. Jesus Christ heals even now. My book, my latest book on rapture. My beloved people, everyone washed by the blood of Jesus. Everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon. We are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years. We are going to go into our Father's mansions. He's going to come in midair to take us, rapture us. My latest book on rapture, don't miss that. And my powerful book, Because Jesus Lives, you will live also because Jesus lives, you will live also. And then streams of miracle life, streams of miracle life. Get these books, my magazines. Every three months we put out magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Every three months we send them internationally and it's full of credible documented evidences of God's instant miracle healing works testimonies, praise reports in our magazines. You can send your request, we'll get it across to you. Signs, Wonders and Miracles magazines. All our miracles, it's increasing. John 14, 12, greater works, greater works now until rapture. It's increasing, it's increasing. We will send you our magazines, Signs, Wonders and Miracles. Send us your prayer requests, send us your requests. We will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle. We love you, and more than us, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, and you can watch us on various television channels as well. Jesus loves you.